Good morning, Year 5. Um, it's me again, and I hope you're all still well. Um, I'm fine, but obviously I'm still missing you. Um, and the weather's changed, my hair's a little longer, my beard's a little bushier. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're doing fine here, and I hope that you guys are doing fine too. Right, um, this is about our writing task for this week, and it's uh, more of an inquiry. And it's about, well, I'll show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's about Bristol's Twin Cities. That's what you're going to be doing this week. You're going to be writing a non-chronological report on Bristol's Twin Cities, or to be precise, one of Bristol's Twin Cities, because there's a few. Um, so you did some non-chronological report writing last week. Uh, on the spittle bug and uh, thank you for that and uh, shout out to Mahali for sending me uh, pictures of his spittle bug um, and responding on the padlet when I said I want could you show me the spittle bug so that was lovely um, we quite enjoy doing that ourselves so keep on doing it um, it's a proper research project that for um, some botanists who are trying to save trees from being getting the disease that spittlebugs or some spittlebugs um, share. Okay, so Bristol's Twin Cities. So I just want to go through uh, what you'll be doing this week, and we're just going to start thinking about uh, which twin city we might look at and how we might approach the report writing. Now, for this one, um i'm happy for you to either write it or for you to do a powerpoint or do it on a word document um i'm going to do most of mine i think on powerpoint um but you can do it however you wish so let's have a quick look oh there we go so this week we're going to write a non-chronological report so you'll all remember that non-chronological means it's not in any particular order so you can think about fact sheets and how they might appear. appear. Um, so on day one, I'd like you to th find out what is a twin town uh, and who are Bristol's twins. OK, so that's more about a reading and researching. On day two, you need to choose a twin town to research. Uh, think about how we're going to compare twins and what should we look at to compare. So that might be a tricky a bit. But that's we're going to go do that today and then we're going to start planning our non chronological report and i'm just going to touch on that today and then i'm going to do a second uh, video uh, about how you write your non chronological report so there'll be some stuff that we covered last week um but again we should be fine right okay <clears throat> i've got a frog in my throat today which is not great Right, these are some really useful websites which I'd like you to think about using. Um, uh, I'm going to put these on the um, Padlet or no, not, uh, or and on the I'll put them on the Padlet and I'll put them also on the um, home learning information page. Um, but there, these are three that i've found i'm sure you will find some other ones as you're researching but let's just have a quick look so um before i go and have press this one can you tell the person you're watching this with or if you're not watching with anybody shout it out loud how many twin cities do you think bristol has i was surprised i always thought people just had one maybe two okay well, let's see how many of you have got this right. So Bristol has, it flicks through. There it is. It has seven twins. So this is off the uh, Bristol City Council website. And you can see straight away that we've got seven twins. So some of these you will have, may have heard of, um, and some of them, I hadn't heard of well one I yeah, a couple I hadn't heard of so Bordeaux in France Hanover in Germany Oporto 
we call it Porto in Portugal, Tbilisi in Georgia, and then I knew about Guangzhou in China, Puerto Morazan. Any ideas, anybody, where that might be? Or where Beira and Bristol is? Beira is. Okay. Well, you can find out for yourselves. But we can have a look at um, at these. So I'd like you to find out why we do twins, why we do twinning as well. So if I go back to that. So um, why do we have twin cities? I'm not so sure. What purpose do they serve? So there's this one as well, which I found, which is um, gives us a little bit of insight from the Bristol magazine about this looks very Bristol pretty and that is not Bristol so where is that um this is from last year and oh look tells us straight away Beira or Beira is in Mozambique so again you're gonna have to find that on the map and have a quick look so this is a really useful website about and Puerto Morazan is in Nicaragua Never been to Nicaragua. I'd like to go to Nicaragua. Um, and there's Tbilisi. So this is a really good website for finding out facts and also for looking at how people write about them. Okay, they've got some really lovely writing style. Very newsy, but it's great. So that's a good place to start as well. And the last one, uh, this is handy. Have a look at this. This is Twin Town Facts for Kids. Okay, so this basically gives you a background in what Twin Cities are and when they started, yeah, and how they work. So that's a useful basic understanding. I looked at the Wikipedia page and that is quite complicated and the language they use is quite challenging. Have a look if you feel confident but there's no need to. Right, let's go back to my PowerPoint. Okay, so, um, so we found out what is a twin town and what are Bristol towns, and I just do some background reading on each of those, because on day two, you're gonna to have to choose a town to research. Now, I'm gonna go back to this page. Can I just give you a little warning? If you choose Beira or Puerto Morazan, Tbilisi as well is quite difficult, and Guangzhou, they have got a lot less written about them on the web. So be warned, if you choose one of those, you're gonna struggle sometimes to find out information. The ones that I would recommend you use would be Bordeaux, Hanover, and Porto. Um, I've been to Bordeaux, I've been to Porto, but I've not been to Hanover. I might go after this though, who knows? Might encourage me to travel. Right, so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna choose, um, which one shall I choose? Hanover, I'm gonna choose Hanover. So I'm gonna click on Hanover, and here's some information about Hanover. Not a lot about there, okay? There's other information here. Some of them have more information than others. But it just gives you a very short oversight. So um, don't necessarily think that that's the best one. Uh, let me just get rid of that one. OK, so what I would suggest you do. So I'm going to choose Hanover. Uh, I'm going to say fact about Hanover for kids. There we go. Hanover fact, this is really good. Kids search. Love it. Great website. And this gives you lots of information about Hanover. So you can choose whichever one you think is better for you. But what are we looking at? That's the question that we need to think about. What is it that we're going to compare? And I thought we'd just have a quick look at some ideas. So 
I thought we would do a spider diagram to begin with. So you're probably going to need to do one or two of these. So in this one, uh, I'm going to put my Hanover. Oh, got a mouse. It's not working very well. There you go. Hanover. <laughs> right. And out of here, we're going to do some legs. And each one of these is going to be something that we can look at to compare Bristol and Hanover. OK, so have a quick think. What do you think we could have on those? OK, I'm going to give you a pause for a moment and then we'll come back and you can think about some of the things, see what I have put on there. OK, let's just see what you came up with and what I might have come up with. So I took that little pause and I had a little go at redoing uh, my spidergram. So let me put it onto full screen again. So um, some of the things I thought about, which you might have come up with, would be climate. And what do I mean by that? I mean, how warm is it there? Uh, how much rainfall do they have? What are their winters like? So we can compare those. Industry. What are the main employers? What is it famous for making? I've absolutely no idea what happens in Hanover. In Bristol, what would we put? Um, we'd probably put Bristol would be engineering uh, because we have Rolls Royce and Airbus and lots of those sort of industries. Uh, sports, some of you might want to write about sport. Um, so we have two football teams, uh, the Bristol Bears rugby team, basketball team. What do Hanover have? Have they even got a rugby team? Is this a sport that they play in Germany that we don't play in Bristol? Population. How many people are there? Is Hanover bigger or smaller than us? I have got absolutely no idea. Um, and there may be other things as well that you come up with. So if you have five or six things, that will give you enough to begin on with. Because you might just do one which is fun facts. You might just do one about universities or something else. So let's just think we've got to compare. Um, the two. So we'll need to find out the information for both Hanover and Bristol. OK, so I'm just going to be looking at Hanover now to see what we can come up with. So. You'll have to do both. I'll have to do both when I come to write mine as well. So I'm just going to end my show and go back to. Hanover and this is the uh, kids search website. So. Hanover is a German city, is the capital of the federal state of Lower Saxony. This could be our introduction. Hanover has 522,944 population. Its industries are Volkswagen cars, tyres at Continental, batteries and tourism. OK, there's lots here that we could use. And as I scroll down, oh, I can see something down here about the universities there. I can see the climate down here. Right, lots of information over here where it is. Uh, population, how big it is in size, how high up it is. Ooh. Lots of stuff here. So you can start researching if you're going to do Hanover or Bordeaux or Porto, those sort of things. And then simply just add them to um, your sheet. Okay. So I'm going to say, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's go back here. So people, so I'm going to say in Hanover, oh, 522,000. Okay. Let me just take that. So we just need to compare those two. Right. So that's going to be your task for one, two, three days, filling in this, deciding what you're going to do. So getting those key bits of information for Hanover and Bristol. Um, so you would get up to the planning stage, basically. And then on day four and five, we're going to write it. 
So good luck with that. And 